Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft in the morning. I'm here with my coffee again. Hmm. Just, uh, Plain old medium roast. Still delicious. The splash of milk today. So, this morning, we're going to be going out to get some wood. We're going to need a lot building. So let's get started, shall we? Yeah, our horse is excited. He's ready to go. So let's go ahead and get him off the, the leash here. Alrighty. So we need to go find some trees. Actually, hold on here. Hold your, your horses. And I think in here, uh huh, we do have some saplings. So we can take these with us and find a nice place to plant them. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to mount the temple here. There we go. Good horse. Alrighty. We might actually be able to plant some right here. And we'll see if these want to grow. We can to them when they do. We don't have any bone meal. Hello, chickens. Having a bath. Hmm. Yeah, aren't they cute? Hmm. Alrighty, let's find ourselves some some more trees. Shall we? So, aha, uh -huh. some spruce we might have to snatch up some of those as well. So yeah, we're going to need a lot of wood for the different builds that I'm planning, planning out now. Hey, you, no, hey, come here, come here. We're gonna put you right here, okay? There you go. Um, yeah, we're going to go with a nice wood uh, theme and uh, everything going to be nice and open and airy. Not arid, but airy. Meaning lots of ventilation and that. I'd like to avoid using glass as much as I can and just keep things open. And we can accomplish that by using a lot of things like fences and stair blocks and, and that. 
So, again, we'll need a lot of wood. And as you can see from our, well, as you saw from our first building, the, uh, the hut, um, that's kind of the style I want to go with, with those large support beams and, and whatnot, the, uh, actually, why don't we go ahead and harvest some of this, and we'll see if we can bring some vegetation to the desert, we can plant some hedges and whatnot, and that would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe even, uh, maybe even transplant some, some grass over there. But as I was saying, there's going to be a lot of logs in the structures. So, I'm already starting to plan out the stable for this guy and his, uh, future friends. Um, that's going to be another large build. So we have that to look forward to. That'll be our big build, the science, the renovation on the temple. So, I've also got a topic for us today. Hmm. I came prepared. So, this is something that I think most of us can relate to. Something that a lot of people do. So I've been struggling with something for a while. A number of years, actually. And that is growing up being an adult, you know, doing the kinds of things that adults normally do on a daily basis, you know, being productive, just doing, you know, the routine, the routine stuff. You get up early in the morning and you say, well, today I'm going to be productive. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And you're really excited about it. You know, you have a, a new resolve. You say to yourself, today I'm, I'm going to do it things are going to change. And <clears throat> it starts off well enough, but you start to get the feeling that maybe, maybe you've started out a little too strong. You know, you've bitten off more than you can chew. And that's not good. Because what ends up happening 
is you wear yourself out. And that's no good. Because then you lose sight of your goals. You say, well, I've worked really hard. I've done really well. So now I deserve to, you know, take it a little easy. Your brain tells you that you should because, you know, it's no fun working so hard all the time, right? <coughs> but then you start to get comfortable with uh, your new pace. <laughs> and uh, before you know it, you're back to your old ways. And that's, yeah, something that I've been kind of bothered by for a while. Let's plant one of these trees over here, shall we? Let's see if we can get one of these spruce to grow. Mm, I don't know if we'll need that many um, of those, but we can plant a couple anyway, since we have them. But yeah, how many of you have done something like that? You've gotten up the courage to try and make some, you know, major productivity uh, changes, and they just, you know, things always go back to the way they the way they were. This would be a nice place to plant some trees up here on this kind of summit area. I think that might look nice. Maybe not that <laughs> close together. But it's, it's a common problem. Something that a lot of people go through. And, uh, what are we going to do about it? You know? I've decided to give up. I've decided, you know what? I don't think I'm ever going to be a proper adult. I think I'm always going to be a little bit childish. A little bit, you know... I don't know, slacky, you know, a little bit lazy, I guess, and I think that if I just accept that for what it is, I stop trying to be something that I'm not, you know, if I understand my work capacity and learn to get along with it. I think working at a comfortable pace I'll actually be more productive than if I continuously wear myself out. You know what I mean? Slow and steady wins the race. I think that's the moral of the story here. Oh, there goes our shears. I hope that all made sense. <laughs> it, it does to me. But uh, that is a lot of rambling, so I understand if... <laughs> oh wait, you're not my horse, why am I trying to ride you? There's our horse. All right. <clears throat> well, 
We've got a fair bit of wood here. Pretty good for not really paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> and we have some more saplings and the roses that we used to have are now called poppies. <clears throat> Which, <clears throat> mm, excuse me. <clears throat> mm, maybe a little bit too much milk in my coffee this morning. The poppy is a rather familiar flower, especially if you're Canadian, eh? <laughs> I mean that in the dearest of senses. But, uh, being, uh, somewhat of a, I would say, <laughs> honorary Canadian, I guess, or an American in law to Canadians. <laughs> my, uh, my wife, if, uh, if you, uh, weren't aware, is Canadian. So I, I go to Canada quite frequently, at least once a month, for a few days or so. And, uh, I've noticed the, uh, trend during certain holiday, a certain recent holiday, I think, um, where everyone's wearing poppies. And that's kind of nice, as our version of that holiday, at least in the area where I live, we don't really do much to celebrate it, so. All right. Well, there's been some new changes in fishing. And uh, I'd like to do a little bit, shall we? There are new fish to be caught, and um, I heard that you could also catch things that are not fish, so that's sort of interesting, isn't it? There also seems to be a new animation in the water around the bobber. <clears throat> See the water splashing? <gasps> oh! Oh, that was neat. You could see the fish running towards the bobber. Hmm. Oh, we caught a raw salmon. Well, you know, of, of course it's raw, but we caught a salmon. Well, that's... that's different. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. Yeah. 
had a good morning. I hope that you're relaxed. Yeah, nay. And, um, I hope you've had a, a good week. I hope you have a good weekend. And everybody, of course, have a great day. Goodbye. No. No, no, this is my fish. You can't have it. My fish. Hello. It's Tainmar here again. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, hit the favorite button. If you really, really enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. If you have something to say about the video, you can drop it in the comment section below. If at the time of your viewing, the next episode of this series is posted, you can click on the box on the screen to go to it now. If you'd like to stay more updated with everything we do here, follow at Borderless Games on Twitter. From time to time, we host live streams over on twitch.tv slash borderlessgaming, which also has a handy follow button. Also, don't forget to check out Cranky Craft for more fun and adventures with Tainmar and all the other cranky crafters. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.